Today, we're going to continue with chapter 3, which is Plasma Membrane Transport. Okay, let's go. First, uh, we start with a learning outcome. So, after we finish uh, this uh, chapter, uh, you are assumed to be able to list the component of plasma membrane and their function and describe the structure of the plasma membrane and the functions of each of the component and you'll be able to explain the role of the membrane protein and explain how a membrane structure are selectively enable and you are able to explain the various transport mechanism across the membrane. What is a plasma membrane? Do you still remember? What is it? Okay, I think uh, we start with the cell first. Cell. Cell is the structure and functional unit of all living things. Okay, and the plasma membrane is the membrane found in all cells that separate the interior of the cell from the outside environment. And the plasma membrane also regulates the transport of material entering and exiting the cell. And uh, it consists of a lipid bilayer that is um, semi permeable. Okay. And the fundamental structure of the membrane is the phospholipid bilayer. And the phospholipid are the most abundant uh, lipid in the plasma membrane itself. And they are amphibiotic molecule because it's containing both hydrophobic and hydrophilic region. And what is a hydrophobic and hydrophilic? Do you still remember what is it? Okay. Hydrophobic is a simple, it's a phobic, it's a phobic phobia. Okay, hydrophobic, we can call that a something is a water hating, and the for hydrophilic is a water loving. Okay, that's a two region, eh? hydrophobic and hydrophilic region. So, now, um, can you uh, identify three types of lipid in this diagram? Still remember? Okay, in this diagram, you can see there is a phospholipid and there is a two fatty acid. There is a saturated fatty acid and there is a unsaturated fatty acid. And this one is a steroid. Okay. Okay. Now, this slide shows the a cross section of a phospholipid bilayer. In here, you can see the hydrophilic, hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tails. Okay. This a phospholipid arrange themselves in a layer that is a two molecule thick. Okay, this is one molecule thick, and this is one molecule thick. Okay, there is a two molecule thick. Okay, and the outer layer, which is hydrophilic head, this is a outer layer. Okay, this is the outer layer. Hydrophilic head uh, is in touch with uh, extra cellulite. Uh, extracellular fluid and this inner layer is in touch with cytoplasm and the hydrophobic tails is hydrophobic tails okay, hydrophobic tails is, is point and work facing each other and in the middle of a bilayer away from water away from water okay now 
this um, phospholipid, this phospholipid the structure is consist of green, a phosphate, glycerol, and two fatty acid. Okay, the tail is two fatty acid. Okay, uh, the hydrophilic head, okay, hydrophilic head is polar and this two tail is non polar so the head is a polar uh, due to phosphate group and the tail is non polar uh, due to long uh, fatty acid chain okay. Let's continue with a 3.2 structure of plasma membrane, which is a fluid mosaic model. Okay, this uh, fluid mosaic model was um, proposed by Sinha and Mikkelsen in 1972. Okay, according to them, um, the, 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 the protein embedded in the uh, phospholipid bilayer resemble if you look at the at top view, it's like a mosaic pattern. Okay, it's like a mosaic pattern. This is the closer, uh, closer look at the structure of plasma membrane. So here you can see the extracellular side of the membrane outside. And this is the cytoplasmic side of the membrane inside. Okay, uh, this is the a uh, fiber of uh, extra cellular uh, matrix, this ECM. And here you can see the glycoprotein, and there is a carbohydrate in here, and this is the glycolipid. Okay, so this is the cholesterol, cholesterol in here, and this is the protein. Yeah, this is um, there's a uh, two type uh, peripheral protein and integral protein. Okay, so for a glycoprotein, actually it's a branch of a carbohydrate um, fused uh, with a protein. Yeah? That's a glycoprotein and for the glycolipid, is a, a branch of carbohydrate fused uh, with um, phospholipid. Yeah? Yeah? This is phospholipid and this is a membrane uh, carbohydrate, uh, which is a minor, minor constituent of a plasma membrane. Okay, guys, uh, look at this um, slide. Uh, do you recognize any of this ECM structure? Uh, what do you say? A B and C. Anyone? You still remember? Okay, so E is, E is, yeah, proteoglycan. Complex B is collagen and C is yeah fibro netin. Okay, let's continue next. Uh, the membrane are not a static uh, sheet of molecule a lot rigidly in a place. Uh, they are held together by hydrophobic interaction, uh, which is uh, much more weaker than a covalent bond. So that's mean the uh, phospholipid um, membranes is uh, moving. Okay? So uh, they carry out a flip flop movement across a two layer of phospholipid and also lateral movement uh, within the same layer of phospholipid. Uh, and then some of the uh, protein uh, move uh, laterally. Uh, many others actually, um, the membrane protein is immobile. Now, uh, let's look at this uh, figure. This is the uh, figure shows the movement of uh, phospholipid. Look at this. This is the lateral movement. That means it can move a side, uh, sideway. sideway. Um, and this movement is a quite rapid, and this is the movement between the same 
layer of first polypate. And this one is the flip flop movement. And this movement is only once per month. Um, and you can see this is the movement between um, two layers of phospholipid. Okay, a membrane uh, remain a fluid that's a temperature decrease until uh, the phospholipid um, settle into com closely packed arrangement and the membrane solidified. So there's a factor in the acidity. So there's two factor: the presence of unsaturated fatty acid and also cholesterol. So, for example, if you ever uh, cook a patty, okay, patty, make patty, and you leave the pan overnight, and the remaining a grease solidified the next uh, morning. So that's example of um, uh, membrane of uh, fluidity. Okay. Okay, look, as a temperature cool, uh, the membrane uh, will switch from a fluid state, state to a solid state. Uh, it will solidify. Okay, in the presence of unsaturated fatty acid, okay, um, membrane rich in unsaturated fatty acid actually more fluid than those in uh, rich in saturated fatty acid. Okay, unsaturated fatty acid uh, do not contain. Uh, maximum number of hydrogen atom, although they do contain um, some double, bo double bond uh, between adjacent carbon atom. Uh, a double uh, bond uh, result in a band uh, uh, of uh, approximately uh, 30 degree in the string of the carbon. In the string of the carbon, okay. Uh, if, uh, for example, it's compressed, uh, the kink um, in the tail elbow adjacent uh, phospholipid uh, molecule away okay and maintaining space uh, between a molecule there's space between uh, the molecule okay that's why uh, there is a uh, more um a fluid yeah? uh, compared to um, saturated saturated fatty acid okay now uh, take a look at um, this uh, figure Okay, this is an uh, unsaturated versus saturated hydrocarbon tail. So look at this first. So look at this tail. So this is what uh, we call the kink uh, in the uh, unsaturated tails, okay? which is a prevent the packing and make it a remain uh, a fluid. Okay, compared to the this tail, it's a very this tail is, uh, tail is uh, for the saturated um, tail is a fat one. Okay, that's a uh, that's different between unsaturated and saturated uh, fatty acid. Okay, so um, the the fatty acid in for, uh, or phospholipid composition it can change to uh, adjust eh, in the changing uh, of a temperature. So for example, in here is a winter wheat. So uh, it will uh, adjust um, in the amount of uh, the percentage of unsaturated uh, phospholipid okay, in the uh, every season. Okay, and also you can look at the a uh, fish um, which is a uh, capable uh, adapting uh, to cold environment, yeah, uh, but by having um, unsaturated uh, fatty acid in the body. Uh, if you Imagine the fish uh, that cannot adapt in the a uh, cold temperature uh, in the water, for example. Will what happened to the fish? Okay, it will um, harden, yeah, harden. So, uh, so fish are, are capable of adapting uh, to cold environment due to uh, unsaturated fatty acid in their body. Okay. okay, the second one is the prison of cholesterol okay so cholesterol actually lies um, alongside the phospholipid in the membrane uh, okay here you can hear here this is a uh, cholesterol this is cholesterol and cholesterol okay lies um, alongside the phospholipid in the membrane and tend to dampen uh, the effect 
of a temperature uh, on the membrane cell. Okay, the effect okay, of temperature. Okay, uh, it's also a function uh, like a buffer, which is a preventing um, lower temperature uh, from inhibiting um, fluidity and also preventing higher temperature from uh, increasing fluidity too much. Okay, that's control. Eh? Control. Uh, so, um, if a uh, temperature drop, uh, the cholesterol can actually um, function kind of spacer. Okay, look, spacer uh, between the phospholipid. Okay, uh, then uh, for uh, prevent uh, or keeping the them uh, the phospholipid uh, from becoming too packed. Okay, because in here they in here cholesterol so uh, it's um, like a spacer and uh, or vice versa if um, the cholesterol uh, the cholesterol can actually function uh, to connect uh, the phospholipid uh, to keep them uh, from becoming too fluid uh, in a warm temperature right? it, it will hold uh, the phospholipid so uh, I think um, now uh, we already uh, cover uh, the structure of a plasma membrane and the fluidity of a membrane. And you uh, now you know the reason why a uh, uh, plasma membrane uh, called a fluid mosaic model um, is because um, the, the plasma membrane is described as a fluid because it's component such as phospholipid and membrane protein can uh, move yeah, laterally uh, or sideways and throughout the uh, membrane. So there is a not solid, yeah, that's mean. And then uh, the membrane is described as a mosaic because uh, like a mosaic, uh, there is a made up of uh, many different parts uh, of the plasma membrane. Uh, which is composed of different kind of uh, molecules. Yeah.